Hi friends and thank you for joining us on another 3 Aben Today program. My name is Larry Weathersby and in the kitchen today with me is my lovely wife Kyung. Hi, we are so happy to be back at 3 Aben Amen. Kitchen. Today we have a very delicious and exciting recipe prepared for you. So please call your friends. Don't go nowhere. Amen. Yeah, <laughs> You're going to miss a lot. <laughs> yes, we are excited about being back here at 3 ABN today again. And for, for some people who may not know us, we're from Mena, Arkansas. That's it's right. in the western part of Arkansas. Yes. We have a daughter. Her name is Christina. We have a grandson whose name is Malachi. You may have seen him on some of our recent shows. But we're just excited about being here today. And, and Kyung, what are we going to be doing today? Well, can you uh, guess? The way I dress, that's going to be matched to the uh, food we're going to fix. Oh, amen. Okay, so first one, I'm sure they want to see what we're going to fix. Uh -huh. So first one will be stir fry chicken and potatoes. Okay. Oh, that didn't look good. Amen. Next one is stir fry broccoli. Oh, I love that. I love the green thing. Then stir fry pineapple. Who will ever thought that you're going to stir fry pineapple? Right. But I'm going to show you, you might want to fix that at home. That smells so good. And stir fry noodle is another name for the lo mein. Mmm, mmm, looks good. Amen. Then sesame tofu stir fry. This is really well known dishes in the Chinese restaurant. Mm -hmm. So I fix it in vegan way. Okay. And uh, there will be last one, spinach, rice, uh, stir fry. I've been telling the spinach, the spinach. Spinach stir fry. <laughs> it's not Spanish. Yeah, spinach. spinach. <laughs> so, so, yeah, I'm very excited to show them all to you. Hey, yeah. man. Yeah. We, we're excited about looking at the recipes and, and cooking for you. But before we do that, friends, we just uh, want to let you know that for some people, again, that may not know, we have a ministry called A Taste of Heaven. Yeah. And we've had it for about 10 years. Yes. And uh, it's, it's a blessing to us because God gave it not only to me, but to my wife. Yeah. And our main purpose with our uh, Taste of Heaven ministry is to uplift Jesus Christ. Amen. And that's our main purpose. It's not about us. It's all about Him. And teach people how yeah. to cook healthy. Yeah, Amen. That's our ministry. Yeah. And also, <laughs> by the grace of God, you know, we give Him all the glory because He deserves it. Kyung has been able to write seven cookbooks. Amen. And these cookbooks are, are just so wonderful. And, and you can see that he really inspired her because the recipes are so easy and they're delicious and they're just helpful for you too. Amen. So uh, we're just blessed by that. And, and yeah. she has been able to do another cookbook, Cookbook 7. And you can tell everybody a little bit about that. Uh, yeah. There you can see the vegan gluten free. It has 300 recipes. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you are on gluten free diet because of your celiac, or uh, I heard that many people have arthritis, they're on gluten free diet, or lupus, or even uh, like a heavy mucus problem and uh, migraine headaches. So, so many benefits. If you are trying this recipe, so praise God. <laughs> I came up with this. Cookbook. So, Amen. Yeah. And we've had a lot of requests about it already, but it's a very good cookbook. But today, <laughs> in our program today, Kyung, uh, we're going to be cooking a lot of recipes, and they're all coming from which? From book six. Okay. Called the Healthy Oriented This one is stir fried pineapple. pineapple. I never heard of that before, but we're going to try it, all right? For the stir fried pineapple, you need one teaspoon of canola or peanut oil, one whole pineapple cut in chunks, two tablespoons turbinado sugar two tablespoons lemon juice, two teaspoons parsley flakes, one-fourth teaspoon sea salt, and two tablespoons of chopped peanuts. See, you see there, I got a big pineapple here, fresh one. And usually we cut like to eat fresh ones. But this is more like a Thai food. They love to fry the, stir fry the pineapple. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to show you sometimes, you know, I'm from Korea. Even though I had a Chinese outfit, I'm from Korea. And I never saw the fresh pineapple like this until I came to America. And I said, how am I going to cut this one? So finally, I learned how to cut it. So I'll show you <laughs> in case you want to know, how am I going to cut this one? Uh -huh. So first, what you need to do, cut in the bottom. And you make sure the trash can is ready. And then cut on the top. Simple. So far, mm -hmm. and then cut in half, like this. Mm -hmm. 
Then cut it another half from here. So we're going to use all this. Okay. Then in the middle, you will see there like a hard, what do you call it, Larry? Hard core. Mm -hmm. And then you need to, you can eat this one. It's a hard to eat. Then just about half inches from the skin, you just cut it like that. Sure smells good. Yeah, and it tastes really good. It's good for you. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and finish this one. Like that. Oh, do you know that pineapple is very high in vitamin C? And also you will find the B, vitamin B1, B6, fiber, magnesium, iron, and potassium. That's amazing, isn't it? Wow. You know, when I study about nutrition for fruits and vegetables, I'm amazing about God. Yeah. <laughs> and because he loves us so much that he knows what we need to have a better health. So he put all these good things in there. It's good for digestion and good for can stomach That's cancer. That's right. Larry, uh -huh. remember that you, you heard a story about that this man had a stomach cancer? Uh -huh. And he got his delivery truck uh, broke down. Uh -huh. And what happened after that? He just... Uh, he, what, what did he deliver in his he truck? He had nothing but truck full of pineapples. and Fresh pineapple, right? Fresh pineapples. And he was in, broke down for like two weeks and all he could do during those two weeks, was the only thing he had to eat was those pineapples, and he ate them for two weeks. And he had really <laughs> a real bad case of cancer, stomach cancer, stomach cancer. And as he went back to the doctor to, after he got rescued, yeah, and the doctor went for an examination and found out he had no more cancer. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Just from eating pineapples. D yeah. <laughs> so that will be a very good cleansing too. Mm -hmm. So thank you for sharing, Larry. Amen. So if there is people out there suffering from stomach cancer eat some pineapple or digestion problems mm -hmm. and get some fresh pineapple and maybe you should have two weeks cleansing yes. and then God will bless you mm -hmm. so now you see that after that I cut it just half here mm -hmm. and then slice them up by half inches thick okay wow. you want to taste one <laughs> no? Okay, I'm going to turn the go heat on. And this one, you cannot use the olive oil mm -hmm. because the olive oil has very strong flavor. Even though it's the best oil in the world, you can get it. So either you can use canola oil or peanut oil. I noticed that I have many Facebook friends from South Africa uh -huh. and the other countries. They say they can get the peanut oil. Mm -hmm. So and then use the... Canola oil? Canola. But uh, the other day I went to a uh, health food store and I saw the organic canola oil. Mm -hmm. So now you have a choice. Amen. Because I got many letters from people there. Kyung, canola oil is their GMO, it's bad for you. So now <laughs> you can get an organic one. Amen. <laughs> so I'm going to put it all in here, okay? Woo. Then after that, I'm going to put tabinado sugar. This is like a very healthy sugar, less refined. So but therefore, you can find some iron, potassium, calcium, magnesium. Then I'm using a two tablespoon fresh lemon juice. Wow. The lemon juice is another blood cleanser and uh, liver cleanser. And this is a parsley, parsley flakes. flakes. Mm -hmm. You can use a fresh one too. Amen. And uh, do you know that even though uh, sweet dishes, you got to have uh, some salt to bring the sweetness. Mm -hmm. And without it, it's going to be really bland. And then I will need a two spoon. And then you just stir. This is a stir fry pineapple. Mm -hmm. Stir fry. Stir fry. Stir fry. Usually about stir fry for about a few minutes. And then yes. you will see the pineapple will turn into a little more yellowish color. Mm -hmm. Can you see that right here? Darker. Little, little darker. Then, uh, you can serve as the warm pineapple and it's, this, this is delicious. I love it. I love it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I love all the dishes I fixed, but this is so
so different, so different. So hopefully maybe you try it. And okay, so what I will do from here, I'm gonna go and stop. I mean, I, you can cook few more minutes, but I will, this is the last step you need to do. And you're gonna put it on some plate wow. when you serve. And this you can use it as the side dish or healthy dessert. Main dish or anything. And here, what I do, you sprinkle with the chopped peanuts. peanuts. And these peanuts just give it such a good flavor together. Sure. Look at that. I love peanuts. How pretty it is. So yeah, Peanuts are good for you. Yeah, peanuts. Then as I prepare this recipe, you want to know what's in peanut. We know there's all fat, but there's not all fat. Mm -hmm. And very high in protein and fiber, also vitamin B1, B2, and vitamin E, and calcium in it, magnesium, iron, also potassium, and zinc, and has a lot of fat. No cholesterol whatsoever, and it's good for heart diseases, and good for skin disorders, and it will lower cholesterol, and also good for blood pressure. Oh, man. Oh, All that in peanuts, huh? Yeah, if you'd like to know more, more of the information, call me. Hey, man. <laughs> this is amazing. So we have finished product we'd like to show you. OK. So you just sprinkle. Don't you love it? You it know? looks good, huh? Yeah, I love to uh, just decorate my plate. So it has some flowers and the lettuce, and it makes it look Looks really? good. I'm ready to eat it right now. <laughs> but we got to wait till after the show. That's right. And we have another letter. Okay. We have another letter. This is coming from Julie, and she lives in New York. She says, Dear Kyung and Larry, thank you so much for the recipe books. We are enjoying the food so much we can't get enough of it. My whole family loves it too. Today we came home and we made your delicious pizza, and we all enjoyed it. I share some good food with my neighbors. And since I got these books, I have been cooking nonstop. Thank you so much, and God bless you. Thank you, Julie. God bless you, Julie. Yes. She's amazing. Yeah, she's amazing. She's a good friend, so we yeah. appreciate her. We need to say yeah. hi to her. Okay.